Hey guys, it's Rachel here. I'm part of the team here on Love Evolve. I'm sorry, Evolve Within Love Group. I always get live and all of a sudden I can't talk. I am a multidimensional medium, energy healer, intuitive reader, and energy worker. And um, so for as far as I can remember in my journey, I think one of my first guides that showed up when my abilities opened were the dragons, uh, one dragon in particular, and she's been with me ever since. And since that day, it just seems like I have an especial connection with the dragon realm. They are part of the elemental realm, which is the same as the fairies, the gnomes, undyne, salamanders, and a whole host of other creatures. Um, the dragons, they are very similar in what they do and their energy signature to angels, especially the archangels. And you will frequently see them working in teams, working together in teams. Now, recently, we've been, I've renewed my relationship with the dragons and asked to work with them more closely. And one of the things that's come out of that work is something that they call the dragon breath, the dragon breathing. And if you are a yoga student at all, if you've ever taken yoga for any length of time, you will recognize kind of the sounds of this breathing as being sort of my own interpretation, my own spin on ujjayi breath and ocean sounding breath. Okay, it'll, that'll sound very similar. It's very throat, like very back of the throaty, very raspy, uh, sometimes a little aggressive sounding breathing. And what this breathing does is coupled with the dragon's energy, the breathing helps to, uh, heal energy, move energy, and transmute energy. That's the short version of, of a very long story. So what I wanted to do today is to come on and do dragon breathing for moving out stagnant energy. Stagnant energy that may be in your emotional body, maybe it's in your mental body, maybe it's in your spiritual body, maybe it's in your physical body. The dragons do say there is an especial emphasis with this particular transmission on stuck energy in the physical body. It's going to move everything in all your bodies that needs to be moved that may be stagnant, but the especial emphasis is going to be on where energy is stuck in your body. And if you've never heard that before, what it means is when we, when we experience any sort of wounding, trauma, loss, damage, from anybody or anything that we come across in life, very frequently, if we don't process that and we don't heal it and release it, those energies become stuck in the physical body. They are stored until they are processed and released. Um, you might, if you have uh, very tight hips, you feel a lot of tightness in your hip flexors, uh, in your thighs, that's a lot of trapped energy in addition to whatever's going on with you physically. So a lot of people, uh, especially yoga practice, when they get in those hip openers, they notice that all of a sudden, all this emotion comes out that is trapped energy that was stored in the body being released. So long story short, this dragon breathing transmission is to help bring out stagnant energy from the physical body, but also from your mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies as well. And what will happen, because the dragons are facilitating this, is they will take that energy and help to transmute it, help recycle it, send it back to the universe where it's used once again. Okay, but it'll no longer be trapped um, inside you. So disclaimer, if you notice that you get very emotional with this transmission, uh, if it feels like too much, just shut it down. Maybe you're just, you know, maybe you just need a minute. You're not ready. That's okay. Um, if it feels okay that it's coming up, this emotion that's coming up, let it flow. You don't need to know why. You don't need to attach a story to it. Just let the emotion come up and out. Um, if it's not emotional energy, you may experience a uh, release, uh, like a feeling like a physical release of something letting go, something coming out, uh, some sort of movement of energy within the body, you may feel nothing at all. That is okay. Whatever you experience is perfectly all right for you. Let me see, is there anything else? Dragons, you guys have anything before we get started? Just tapping in here to see if the dragons have anything they wanna add 
on that. They're like, no, let's get started. So when you see me do this, it, if it's your first time with energy work, this is gonna look really odd to you. It's gonna look a little crazy. <laughs> um, you may hear me hiss. You may hear me chant or say words or light language. And what light language is, is an energetic transmission through the voice and you're not gonna understand it with your rational mind. Your monkey mind is not gonna understand anything to do with it. However, your soul, your energy field, your heart, they'll know exactly what to do with it. So just kind of let go of trying to understand what's going on and just feel it, okay? Um, I might move my arms, I might sway. So uh, any of that is normal, everything's okay. All right, so. If you want to just breathe with me here a little bit, we're going to ground down and open up. So if you can sit or lay down in contact with the floor, if you can put your feet on the floor, your body on the floor, and really come into contact with earth to ground this energy. We're going to take some uh, deep breaths in and out. Please do it at your own pace. Um, don't try to keep up with me. I don't want this to be something that you stress over. Okay. So taking some deep breaths into the belly. Now, as you continue to breathe, if you have a specific intention for this uh, release, please go ahead and connect with that intention now. You can say it out loud or say it in your heart. If you know that there is trapped energy somewhere in your body, you can go ahead and connect with that now, have an awareness of it now. And open, open your heart, open your energy. Maybe you, maybe you want to move your body a little bit to relax and loosen so that it's nice and open as you continue to breathe. Commencing the transmission now. Just bringing the energy up.
There is a golden um, sparkling light that's coming into this transmission. It is from the universe. It is being channeled by the dragons. Uh, feels like it's coming in from my right side. <clears throat> Some of this energy coming up is not from this lifetime. Some of it's been stored over different lifetimes, different um, timelines even. And that's coming up from the hips. Some of that is also coming from DNA. There's DNA activation. <clears throat> Stuff that's been stored at the cellular level coming up for release. wounding from the divine feminine. I'm feeling a galactic presence. Um, to me, it feels like Pleiadian energy assisting with the dragon realm to bring this up. Um, lifetimes where you were not on earth. There is an ancestral connection here as well. Um, I was not aware this was going this deep. This is coming up from Earth Star Chakra. So some of your Akash is being cleared as well. There's massive amounts of energy coming up, guys, for release. Please don't hold on to it. Just let it, just let it come up and out. The dragons know what to do with it. You don't have to do anything but let it come up and out. Please don't hold on to it. There's uh, energy related to the religious concept of sin coming up, this blame, this guilt, this feeling unworthy, feeling bad, self-judgment, this kind of energy also coming up. Um, this is a collective wound. Even if you're not religious in this lifetime, this is coming up from the collective human psyche.
clearing out of the aura. There is a purple energy coming in from source to replace that that is uh, that which is released. A purple energy of source, purple energy with looks like silver starlight, silver and white starlight coming in to replace that which is released. Just allow it to take the place. Just allow it to refill those spaces, to expand and refill those spaces that have been vacated. There's a tremendous amount of relief here. A tremendous amount of mental and emotional relief. I uh, can feel it um, circulating. There's also a silver light that comes in from the archangelic realm. Uh, also from the Elohim of grace coming in to take the place of that which is released. So lots of incoming energies to heal and seal those places that were vacated where that old energy was pushed out. I feel a need to reground. Some of you may be feeling a bit lightheaded or um, a little disconnected from your body. So I want to encourage you to deep, deep, deep belly breathe right now and wiggle your fingers, uh, wiggle your toes, put your feet, reestablish that connection with the ground, put your feet on the floor, wiggle your toes, feel your feet, be in your body and really breathe deeply from your belly. It may also help if you put your hands on your chest and come back into your being. That was a massive clearing. I'd really encourage you to go outside if you can right after this transmission, if at all possible, uh, wherever you are, to go outside and uh, ground outside for a few moments. Some movement, some movement may help walking, swaying. It feels complete. It was quite deep. Make sure that after you've grounded to drink a lot of water to help that flush through, to help those new energies find their places in the areas that were vacated. Um, yeah, drink lots of water. Move around uh, very gently. Um, I would I wouldn't try a vigorous exercise just yet. Uh, I would leave that for a few hours from now. If you're going to do that at all today, I would really actually recommend resting um, after that and maybe doing your vigorous exercise tomorrow instead. 
a peaceful exercise like yoga and Tai Chi, as long as it's not too uh, demanding on your system because that went deep, that went deep. And if you are interested in working with me further in this modality or having an intuitive reading with me, my contact information will be in the description box of this video. I would love to hear about your experience if you're willing to share that. I know it can be quite personal, so no pressure. And thank you for coming on this journey with me. It was deeply healing and uh, just marvelous. So thanks very much. And I will see you in the next video. Much love, guys. <laughs>